previously during the investigation. Open it. Always open the microwave. And find out that they were cooking in the microwave an egg. That's not how it works. Weird, uh, us lining there with different facts. Dirk thinks a lot about his job, as you'll find out. A big part of his character. Unpredictab unpredictability lies ahead today. Lucky place, train station. An unpredictable life is a wonderful thing. Cases may come flooding in like passengers at rush hour. Oh my. I'll go for another couple times, then we'll move in on from this for the moment. I do want to do some more coffee drinking in the future, though. For the moment, though, we want to move forward, I'm guessing. Relax. Get a breath of fresh air. Lucky color is white. White, is it? The hair of one of my co-workers turned completely white overnight due to stress once. Relaxing might be a good idea. That was probably a reference to Twin Peaks, which you would only understand if you had seen Twin Peaks. It was actually this game that inspired me to finally watch Twin Peaks, because games I had been enjoying recently, like Alan Wake, Silent Hill Shared Memories, and Deadly Premonition were all inspired by it. Don't eat and drink too much. Lucky color is pink. My liver is a healthy pink. I wonder if drinking too much coffee would upset it. Drinking coffee is part of the investigation, after all. Obviously, I'm going to go one more time. These can be addicting, but this will be the last one I do. Seen and danced through this happy day. Lucky I am with sunglasses. Sunglasses? Coffee and milk go together like John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. The Blues Brothers of the Tabletop. There you go. We're done with our coffee for now. Trust me, though, we could be at that for a while, and York has a lot to say about his coffee fortune experiences. I think there's even more in the director's cut, if I recall correctly. But out of here! Now, there isn't too much more for us to do before we go bursting out of that door. I guess when I first say a little hi to Polly here. Oh, hi. This is also the first time in the game that we can talk to somebody and they don't uh, talk. And my I call it Harvest Moon talking style because they make the little click 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 sounds the text goes by and uh, how the text appears is similar to it. Ah yes, Mr. Morgan. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I can make it go slower by like going through it full speed ahead. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you're the sales girl too, aren't you? Yep, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. Oh, all right then. Did you want something? We can talk or we can buy. We're going to talk for now. If you're hanging out, I should warn you, don't be out too late. There's been a lot of trouble in these parts recently. Trouble? You know, it's the terrible murder. It's just so scary. Very true, but I am, I am, you know, looking for the murderer. It would be so much easier if the killer would just show up and try to kill me. Oh, don't say such horrible things. Well, you gotta risk something to gain something. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I'm not that kind of lady. Zack, I think she misunderstood us again. Apparently we can have a little more talk Hi. about. Talk? Doesn't your line of work make you tired? Please at least try to relax when you're back here. Eat and rest up. If there's yellow, that means there's things that you have not talked about yet in the talking menu. Which I think is pretty nice. Let you know if there's more to say or not. Anyways, right on outside, which also happens to be the end of this chapter. As I like to say, open sesame. First day of investigation. We have our uh, total clear time. That's how long we've been playing the game in total so far. Days is one, obviously. We have to defeat a total of number 21 enemies. Let's go straight on forward. Get our money for the day. Mm-mm, good. And there's our total amount so far. Let's go straight into the next episode, or chapter, because there's chapters and episodes. Episodes are split into chapters. Maybe of course, we'll save our game. Police car. Mm -hmm. 
So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. And now they're teaching me the complexities of the car controls, which probably appropriately had a downward noise as we um, just let things go. Zack is Zack. Now we steer like that. I need to remember all this. S does something. It's to reverse. Honk is left control. Got it. Boost is L shift. Got it. Wipers on is up. Wipers off is down. Z and uh, X are used for that. Accelerate. Got it. Side brake is space. Got it. Change view is C. Talk is E. Navigation is M. And there we go. Got the controls down. Now I just want to say something. I'm really happy right now because uh, in the director's cut version of the game on the PS3, whenever characters talked outside, there was this weird audio effect where they sounded really weird, like they were doubled and it was extremely loud when they talked. It seems like they fixed that for the PC version of the game. Anyway, so you can change your camera either to an outside view like this, or to a closer view like this, or if you want to drive first person, there you go. And uh, now you're all about to experience my beautiful driving abilities. So I gotta drive it on the road then. Turn things as we go this way. So you just gain a handle of our car. We got this, we got this though. Let's let uh, York talk though. So Zach, about those bonus features in TBDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason, I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Okay. Let's go over there. It's always interesting listening to York and all that, but yeah, I, we got this and my amazing driving abilities. <laughs> but uh, let's move over this way. Where am I supposed to be going? I can open up my map a bit more like this. See? Nice map. Now, there's actually a lot to see here, but I'm going to move the story forward a little bit, actually. Uh, there's a character that I'll meet up ahead, which I can actually wait me at a certain point in time. Uh, there's two cutscenes you can have with this uh, character mean that I, I, li I like this character a lot, actually. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to see the... I'll, I'll see the regular cutscene where you meet him. But if you go meet him at the house that he lives at first, like, you can, I know where he lives. <clears throat> So uh, I could go meet him at his house, and I could get a different intro cutscene. Uh, this is something which I actually like about this game a lot. Uh, you'll meet every character in the game, in the story, eventually. But you can also meet them before you meet them in the story, and if you do, you get a different scene with them. Let me get out of my car right now and do my business. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. We're going to do that. I just want to pick up this train card. Ta-da! We now know somebody. Now, nothing else really to say or say. Where we're supposed to go is actually right next to where we are right now. There's nothing huge that I need to do on my map besides that. A few things I could check out, but you know, whatever. Here we go. 
the good old Greenvale Sheriff's Department. Let's go take a good old on cowboy look at this place and see what we have to see. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent, Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Indeed, indeed. Now, if I had gone to his house and waited until morning to meet him, which sounds creepy, but I could have done it, I could have had a different cutscene of meeting him. Because uh, all the characters, they have a story point you can meet them at, and then they you can just meet them in town. Depending on whether you meet them in town or you meet them in the story first, they'll have different introductionary cutscenes, and the cutscene we just saw would have been changed to reflect that. Nothing too much to see here, though. I think it's a pretty neat thing. Now, there's a lot to do in this police station. We can start by saving our game, but really, I want to start by looking around a bit in here. A lot to see, a lot to do. What we're supposed to be doing is investigating the police station looking for uh, squirrel keys. Let's see, can I see this here? Abducted, a reward of $30,000. Well, that's bad. Look at through here, too. We even have other reports. Look at that amazing dog. Actually, I think that's a. I think I recall this picture from somewhere. What was it? I recalled it from different things there. Have you seen this child? Uh, no. I can say negatory to that one. More pictures. Actually, we can observe something here. I guess they meet guests in this room. The joy of small towns. And uh, the Greenvale. What is this? Greenvale Sheriff. I guess he's supposed to be previous sheriffs of Greenvale. They almost all look exactly the same. That's okay though, they're doing their job, I guess. Anything else I can observe? This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Emily! And George. Why, hello there, George. George is investigating Emily here. Quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is eager to compete, which may be what it takes. Uh, he's right now looking at pictures on the desk here. Not sure what. I think we should talk to him. I think we should. George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? 
Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. There we go. We have our first side quest in the game. Thankfully, I remembered about this one. Anyways, we can look at our quest of side quest, our list of side quests here, and find out that Arnold's the first thing we have. We're gonna have to care more about side quests after this chapter. Once we reach the end of this chapter, a lot of side quests open up, and they're gonna be the first thing I focus on before going forward with the story. So after this, we're gonna have to take a little bit of time to plan our uh, side quest route out. But for the moment, let's get out of this. Back. First one, we must find Arnold. I just want to talk to him though, just normally, because like he's hanging through that door, so I can't reach him yet. <laughs> I have the Twin Peaks waterfall with an American flag under it. Alright, let's see. Most wanted. Calendar with a tiger on it. Have you seen this child? This one creepy ass looking child. And picnic count. We can also talk to Emily here, or observer, I guess, because she's sitting down working. Emily's desk. She has a blanket handy. I forgot most women are prone to cold. I actually wanted to talk to Emily, but I guess not. Okay, actually, I think I just saw a talking thing. Yes, I do. She's quite pretty. She looks, uh, she looked better wearing something more fashionable than a dull uniform. Agree, Zach? <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York, I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think he's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet without the file with the files, and asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. Now, is there a yellow thing? If there's more we can talk about here. Hi. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. Oh, there's nothing I need help with. Why don't you lend Thomas a hand? Looking for that key? I hardly know my way around the place. I'd help out too, but I've got my hands full. No keys are allowed to be taken. Outside, so the key should be somewhere in the office. Anything else? There is even more we can talk about. Whew. Sorry, I'm really busy right now. If you have time, why don't you lend Thomas a hand? I think that was probably it. Yep, there we go. All of our conversation chain has ended. Over here. Looks hard at work. I could probably get the same work done while reading the book. Oh my. Now let's go check on Mr. George here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come over here, George. There's a reason why I want him to come over here. This thing which I want to trigger when he comes outside. Come out, George. George, come out. I'm waiting for you, George. George. George, the door, the door should be open, George. George, what, what are you doing, George? George. George. I'm going to take a peek inside, George. See what George is doing. He's just looking at his files. That's okay. George, what the, George. Hey, George. Don't bother me unless you have something really important. I already have enough to worry about with Arnold missing. That's okay. Will I trigger the scene anyway if I walk over here? Yes, I will. Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle, amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. Oh my. A lot of concern over this stuff. I didn't think it would trigger with him in the room, honestly. You can observe this. A trophy of a deer shot by George. Hunting your kind of thing, Zach? And America! Greenvale Sheriff of America. Oh, he's finally leaving. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nothing else, I think. Oh, he observed his trophies. All these diplomas and trophies. Is it really proof of his competence or just a way to show off? Whichever one you want. He also has a lot of baseball bats for whatever reason. I guess George likes... Baseball. Now if we have over Oh hi George <laughs> See you later, George. And Emily and uh, I guess I'm hanging out of this room now. Let's start looking around for keys. That's not open. 
That's not a way. Wait, yes it is. I don't even remember what this room is off the top. It's actually I think it's where Thomas is. Wait, no it's not. Let's take a look around then. More things like uh, sheriffs running horses. Actually, I think this. Yep, yep, yep. I know what this room is. This room is a direct reference to Twin Peaks. It's the fucking interrogation room that appears in Twin Peaks every single time, except that they changed it up somewhat. Though the TV's even here, and so is the whiteboard. Uh, Zach, we have a little use for the TV right now. Our favorite cartoon isn't running. Uh, At least he's honest. All right, well, we check the weather forecast. Uh, Doesn't look like they're making much use of it. Probably here just for show. Had to be like Twin Peaks. This is definitely inspired by the room from Twin Peaks. Let's go through here. Yep, we have to collect them their squirrel keys. Let's see. Restroom. Can't go through there. Can't leave now, we say. Despite the fact it's a fire accident, I probably saw off an alarm. But you know, whatever. Our favorite cartoon might be Tom and Jerry. Who knows? Now, there's a few different things we can check out if we go inside here, first of all. Something blue right here. We can observe it, first of all. Used for working out the muscles. It says Arnold on it. I wonder if that's the name of the owner. We actually know the answer already. Zack, we've found Arnold. Let's get him back to George. I guess it's a cute name for a dumbbell. There we go. We got the dumbbell Arnold, which we can get back to George for the side quest. That's part of the way done with this. Put that away. We can strangely shave in the kitchen sink. And here is a grill squirrel key. A key holder with a gray squirrel attached to it. The key belongs to the sheriff's office. Let's take it out. Here we go, we got the gray squirrel key. Fun times, fun times. Open it, always. Inside we collect ourselves a beautiful turkey sandwich. Which is a train card, apparently. A trading card of a turkey sandwich. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, that turkey sandwich is very integral to our case, as everyone knows. Uh, let's go on to the next area. Where is George? George, I have a little something for you. <laughs> oh my. Let's get him this dumbbell. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Huh? Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. For finding this dumbbell. So that gives... makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zach, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. First side quest done. I was going to say, he gave us a trading card of his dumbbells for giving him his dumbbell. Well, okay. Let's head on right out, though. Now, there's still more to go. We collected the uh, squirrel key, so let's uh, get in here with the magic Thomas. Before we do I'll talk to him, I want to let these slide out, though. I think these are pretty cool. We... Nothing in there, though. Anything inside this next one? Maybe, maybe not. The answer was maybe not. On Rackley's line storage. Quite modern for a small town archives room. Cabinets. Just want to click it to turn it off. It's by the fact that they turn off automatically. Anything else in here was obviously Thomas. Let's give him a little of uh, a talk here. Looks somewhat nervous. Though I sense an inner strength in him. He's serious and an excellent cook. Which how York knows this at this point in time, I don't know, but we'll find out about this shortly. His excellent cooking. Though whether that makes him an able deputy is another story. Now let's do what we must.
You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the U.S., Canada, and in England, too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. So it wasn't the right key. Let's go back across. Actually, was that Emily right there? Now let's go into storage here. We have different things to look at. Things to collect, things to see. Oh my, oh my. All the different things all about. It's like something here. It's a key holder with a pointy-tailed flying squirrel attached to it. This key belongs to the sheriff's office. Let's take it. Pointy-tail flying squirrel. <laughs> a raincoat? Doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. What waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? A well organized storage room. No doubt this is Thomas's work too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. <laughs> That's definitely true. Yep, Thomas definitely keeps this place all well organized. Let's break back on out and let's get this squirrel key off to him. Let's uh, choose this and get the next key. Yep, the pointy tailed flying squirrel keys. You found the key. I think so. Is this it? Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail, while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. All right, we still haven't found the right key, so back to exploring. Let's see. Well, that's where we just were. We can't go through the fire exit. Actually, well, do you have anything to say about it? An emergency exit. It's locked though. What use is an emergency exit if it's locked in an emergency? A good question. Downward and outward to the basement of a police station. You can also push this for action. <coughs> yes, work that crate, York. Work it. A little nutty about squirrels. Anyway, we almost got this. We're working this crate. It's gonna break soon. And then if there's anything inside, which there was not, I would have taken it. Here we go in the police side of things, the jail of the police station. All that stuff just hanging around. A desk for the warden. Is he even in use? Doesn't seem like it. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. He looks pretty good at spying stuff like that. We can open this. Ta-da! We can sleep here. And that's about it. What's in here? We can sleep here. And that's about it. See? See? You're starting to learn what you do in jail, right, kids? There's actually someone in here. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be bringing in the culprit soon. That'll allow me the end of our little vacation here. Alright. Then we have a place completely out of mess. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit. Yeah, yeah, he said the same thing. Go through here, collect this. There's actually something here. Observe a key holder with a curvy tailed flying uh, squirrel attached to it. The key belongs to the sheriff's office. I guess I'll take that. Good old magic curvy tailed flying squirrel key. Let's go back on through here. Through this area where we can sleep and not watch something else. Something through here too. Oh, just another guy. All right, we've done our job. Let's uh, head back on out through here. Check out this last quarter of the police station at the moment. 
Back to work. Yes. Let's work this. Yep, we had all police stations have ram crates and boxes and such that I just push for the little heck of it. This is my job. And I like to think my job's pretty amazing. Push oh, there was actually something here. Bullets. Told you they had bullets in their crates. Work this crate out, I say. I'm gonna bring it back home to my mama. <laughs> I'm pushing them along now. La -di -da -di -da 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 -da. It's about to break though. There we go. There's a shooting range here also. If I had my gun pulled out, I could practice my shooting abilities. And an item for us. Flaggy, flaggy, flag. Let's see. A keel or a striped squirrel attached to it. The key belongs to the sheriff's office. Alright, we have a striped squirrel. I like striped squirrels. Let's take that and head back to Thomas with our new two squirrel keys. They can add them to his squirrel key collection. You have to wonder what the other keys actually go to. I mean, though, like, are they Thomas's personal keys? Does he just does designate them based on squirrels? Why, hello, Emily. Because we're going to the same place. Let's go to have a little talk here, Mr. Thomas. You found the key. I hope this is the right one. Uh, you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel? but we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You found the key. That's the right one? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here? Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small-town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. 
I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Another day, another case concluded. Let's see, payment awards, 220 whole dollars in there, which has brought us up quite a bit. Now we could save our game here. However, there's one thing I want to do before we move on to the next episode. It's at this point where I believe the game starts opening up more for ourselves, as long as we decide to. Let me check something. When can I start doing the side quest? Yeah, I should start doing it because we're about to reach inside uh, chapter. Yeah, this we're about to reach chapter four. So before I go on to the next major story location, I'm going to start doing side quests, and we're going to be at this for a while. Side questing. Now, side quest doesn't mean that there's no story involved. There's actually quite a lot of story involved in the side quest. It's just separated. So that's what we're going to be doing next. <laughs>